This is the Tekaz P300. It's an interesting one. Stay tuned. What up? This is I from Ask God Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. And today I'm looking at the very interesting Tekaz P300. It's a 300 watt portable power station. And when I first saw it, I was like, uh, that's different. <laughs> it has this, as you can see, it has this like narrow design. It has like straps for putting it over your shoulder. Um, but before I get into it, I must say that this little thing has grown on me. First of all, it works. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but man, it, it works. It has this annoying beep. It's really like intriguing screen. <laughs> it's like it has no, I can't say that it's no frills because it shows input, it shows output, and it shows battery level in the bars. It doesn't show a percentage or anything. It came with a power adapter, power cord and AC adapter. It also came with um, a USB-C cable, a pretty long one at that. It seems like a pretty decent quality. It uses the eight millimeter connection type. It does not come with a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. To my understanding, I can't get it to charge off of 12 volt. It has a single AC outlet with a ground hole. It's a fake ground hole. This is not grounded. It also has a 60 watt USB-C. I don't actually know. No, this is a normal USB-A port on here. It has a light. 255 21 ports and then it has your light socket now the wildest thing about this device if you guys have been following the channel for a while you know that i had like my og rock pals it charged at 80 watts which is why i kept using the dip this joint charges at 85 watts so i don't know if the price is right as it relates to in comparison to others i will watch it for sales and things like that but man it's a nice little device i typically use it with uh, a lamp 300 watt hours and lamp uses about 10 watts i mean and it 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 works i have actually put it out on purpose because of this 85 watt solar input limit. It charges from the wall at 85 watts. You can trick it from charging from 12 volt. If you have a USB-C to 5521 port and then you adapt that to eight millimeter. I have done that and it does work. So I think it just doesn't have the ability to charge at the lower voltage. It needs a higher voltage to charge. They say the 12 volt um, ports are rated at three amps and then the main port is rated at eight amps. So you know volts times amps is watts. So on the 5521, you can get about 36 watts. On the 8 amp, you can get about what, 90 something or another. Uh, you know, public school. <laughs> oh, the form factor is strange, but I find myself kind of appreciating the form factor because it is different. It has a narrower dip, so you can kind of fit it into some places where you can't normally fit a another style of 300 watt power station like the jackery or the rock pals or the energizer which have a more like stubby approach i'll give you a real world example i think upstairs on my balcony my door has a bit of a um, a gap under it so because this is so narrow i could possibly put this in between my i guess they call it a storm door in my internal door and it could be charging but kind of out of the elements you know it wouldn't get rained on or anything temperature is a different thing but it's an interesting little device very very interesting the big takeaways for me is this 85 watt solar charging i think that that's really good when you compare that to something like the rock pals which charges at 72 watts from solar i don't know what else to compare it to i guess the energizer the energizer charges at 60 watts most power stations in this particular form factor they charge at about 60 watts so this one's doing 85 is really impressive for the price one thing that is a little bit annoying is this beeping as far as i can tell you cannot turn that off <laughs> <laughs> so that sucks you get used to it after a while but it sucks i am going to be giving this away in the future so stay tuned to that this is i have holla